Good evening, may I help you? Reservation under Keen. Welcome back, Mr. Keen. I got you down for a smoking king room for one night. All I need is a form of payment and an ID. Thank you. Long day? Some moments longer than others. Well, we've got you on the third floor. Since you were last here, we upgraded from 32 to 46 inch plasma TV, complimentary Wi Fi, and added new bathroom amenities. Thank you. You're early. I can wait in the lobby if you're not ready. I wouldn't hear of it. I'm Gabriel. Faye, pleased to meet you. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's chilly out. Let's see if we can't get you warmed up. Sure you can. So would you like a martini? Love one. One olive.
you mind if I smoked? Not at all. Nothing sexier than an attractive woman smoking a cigarette. You know, you look a little like Lauren Bacall. Anybody ever tell you that? You're the first? So you're in town for business or pleasure? Business. Which means I gotta find my own pleasure. Bar downstairs isn't your scene? Sometimes you don't feel like the effort. Why charm somebody into coming back to your room with you when you can pay them to? Somehow I doubt you've ever had trouble with charm. So what kind of evening did you have in mind for us? Nice conversation. Passing the time together. Think you can handle that? Baby, I can handle all sorts of things. I bet you can. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do when you're not doing this? Not much to tell. In a previous life, was a would-be writer. Had a few poems published. Started taking some classes. What happened? It wasn't meant to be. What line of work are you in? I negotiate contracts. Must be stressful. Very. How'd you get into that? Let's not talk about what I do. Sure. That's what you want. It's just that most men I see are eager to talk about their work. That or marriage. Someone to vent to, complaints, regrets. Someone to absolve, then that's what I'm here for. Not tonight, it's not. It's your time, sweetheart. We can talk foreign diplomacies or what brand of lube I prefer. The night is yours. This night will go a lot smoother if you resist the urge to bullshit me. You got family? Mom, stepdad, sister. What do you folks think about what you do? I don't know and I don't care. I left home when I was 16 and I never looked back. Yeah, my old man was a piece of shit too. Right up till the day somebody put a bullet in the back of his fat Irish head. Yet if it wasn't for him, you'd be spending the night with somebody less charming. What about your sis? Jenna. That was her name. Too pretty for her own good, but smarter than most people gave her credit for. The kind of girl that got every single door open for her, but never quite knew what to do when she got to the other side. She wanted to be a model or an actress or something. Except that she was always too much of a flake to ever commit to any sort of schedule, so... You take a girl with the looks of a supermodel and major self-esteem issues, and well... Well, it didn't take long for the needle to find its way to her arm and for the chums to start lining up. You're talking about her in the past tense. I haven't seen her for a long time. How'd you end up doing the same thing after watching her bottom out? She was a hooker. I'm a call girl. There's a difference? You don't pay a hooker for her conversation. Fair enough. 
but still, it's a far cry from Danielle Steele, wouldn't you say? What can I say? Shit happens. for conversation, huh? Call girl having a meltdown on you. <laughs> Who am I kidding? A whore. A whore having a meltdown. Cheap, sleazy. Sleazy, I doubt. Cheap? Definitely not. So what do we have here? A situation. No shit. So what, do you do this to all your clients or am I just lucky? So you a fucking thief? That's one theory. All right, let's get this over with. How much? What's the rush? You still got eight hours on the meter. All right, it's not money. You're trying to drag this out, so what? You got some kind of message? Somebody send you? It was Turner, wasn't it? Would he send you here to warn me? Prove he could get to me, get to me with a fucking skirt? Is that what this is? Listen, honey, you don't want to be doing this. This kind of stuff never goes unreciprocated. Most of my peers don't discriminate when it comes to the fairer sex. They'll bend that beautiful nose of yours sideways just as soon as they would mine. You might leave me here tonight with a bullet in my spleen. But sooner or later, they'll find you. And, well, until then, you're not afraid? What I'm afraid of is getting bored to fucking death. You want to get down to business here or what? You tell me now who sent you. And I'll do what I can to make things easy on you. No, you tell me why you're not afraid of dying. Really want to know? Two reasons. Number one. Everybody dies, but I'm sure you've heard that one. Number two, I'm not gonna die. Because you're not gonna shoot me. And why is that? Because the safety's on. 28 years, I never let nobody touch my fucking <laughs> gun! So talk to me, sweetheart. Who sent you? Nobody. 
You a thief? No. I know you? No. Who sent you? I sent myself. Oh. So I call the escort service and a woman with some kind of vendetta just happens to show up saying she's one of us, huh? You expect me to believe that? Isn't it more likely, Faye, that somebody who knew I was gonna be in town intercepted the call and sent their little Nikita to snuff me out? Give me a name. Is this how you negotiate, Gabriel? I know. This is just friendly banter. We're not even close to negotiating yet. I can get us there real fast. Want to know how much fun we can have with this knife and that lighter? You've already hurt me more than you ever could. What's that supposed to mean? Who are you? Why did you come here tonight? Revenge. For? Murder. need me to narrow it down a bit. This hotel, three years ago, room 906, ring a bell. What were you two? Girlfriend, mistress, what? How'd you know I was gonna be here tonight? You've been tracking me, haven't you, all these years? Waiting to get me alone and blow me away. At the scene of the fucking crime, even. Oh, you'd have made a hell of a writer. Except what, you forgot your gun and had to take mine? Thought you'd shame me to death? Well, either he was a hell of a guy or you're about the most vengeful cunt I've ever encountered. There was a woman in the room. What fuck are you talking about? There was no woman in the room with him. There was nobody in the room with him. He was in bed. snuffed out like tying your shoe. So inconsequential that you just forgot. Gone because she was in the wrong place at the wrong time and God only knows how many others like her. Yeah, well, guess what? If your sister had been a fucking librarian rather than whatever kind of whore she was, she might still be alive today. Your sister chose to run a meter on an asshole with a price on his head. She put herself in a dangerous situation and paid the price. And now, three years later, here you are doing the same thing. I'll tell you, some shit you just can't make up. My sister got clean. She lives with her family in River Forest. So who was in the room? Like you. 
You gotta do it. This is some kind of trick. Damned his soul to hell, saying, Go down. 